Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. This is an important matchup, a battle of two top 10 teams, two forces colliding. One team will leave here making a big statement. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Buckeyes will kick this deep to get us going. Fields it just outside the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. So Texas's offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for him. But what a play here by this receiver for a big game for Texas. And Chris, I think back all the years of Texas football going way back, and they've had some good receivers. And Roy Williams comes to mind, Devin Duvernay more recently in the slot. But, man, they really need to start a new legacy. And maybe plays like this can get them going in a new direction. Going to run it. It's blue. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first-level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second- and third-level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking downfield, it's yours. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Brought down, but broke a tackle to produce a solid gain there. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You'd prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. That completion sets up a third down play. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Caught behind the line. It's Bond. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. And moves the ball to the 35, and another first down. Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here. It looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down. But there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver. They knew exactly where they needed to go. Great timing and a first down. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Ball handed off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Seventh play now, the opening drive, but it's third and long. To throw, it's yours. Finds an open target on the left side. The defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. So a field goal attempt coming up now. 
This will be a long range attempt. 51 yards out. Right down the middle. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3 0. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. So Ohio State's offense out there for their first possession. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. First down. We're going to throw the football. That's caught. It's Tate. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. You think about it, over the last eight or ten years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. They get him down, but he crosses midfield, spot the ball at the 44. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down, really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins, just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. On first and 10, looking to throw. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. To throw. It's Howard. Running out of time in the pocket. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Buckeyes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. The shotgun running play call. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Second down after that previous play. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Tate. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. That's a design quarterback keeper. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. An inside give now from the shotgun. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. 
Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Back to pass. It's Howard. Looking to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. He knocks this one right through. The game is now tied. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He'll return it from inside the five. He's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Tries the right with a quick throw. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. It's a great play for the offense, but let's give all the credit to the offensive line for that play. The quarterback makes the throw, but he couldn't have done it without the time that they provided. Longhorns come up to the line in a hurry up. And the wideout goes in motion. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Grab behind the line. It's more. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. That run, good for a first down. The offense still rolling. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it go. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped the ball here. This tight end is known for his hands. The ball's put on the money. Somehow it just goes through his arms. Now it's second down here. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Grab behind the line, it's spun. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. That run sets up a critical third down play. Quick throw caught on the left side. In the clear at the 25. Tackle made after a big game. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense. Are this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day?
snags with good throw. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line. The offense threatening here. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. They're going to run it. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texas. Here's the point after attempt. Connects on the PAT, so it's 10-3. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? Here comes a first down pass attempt. Caught in the backfield. It's Judkins. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Getting set. Here's second down. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football. And it brings up a third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. The Buckeyes line up on first and ten now. Caught behind the line, it's Tate. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Important second down play coming up. Back to throw again. Looking for the wide out. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. The defense spreads all over the field playing zone, trying to make this quarterback make a mistake by throwing it into coverage. But he finds a soft spot on the curl and picks up a first down. And there's the handoff. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pick up there on first down. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And they hand it off to the back. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. No gain there. This defense has been getting sliced up on the drive, but they push back that time, Kirk. 
Yeah, kind of a bend but don't break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Looking to pass, it's Howard. Running back grabs it on a screen. And they bring him down. Blocker has not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. Well, they get positive yards here. You have a sense that they wanted a little bit more of that pitch and catch. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Scott. And they pick up the first half of the 23, getting closer to the red zone. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. The first and ten play coming up. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. He lets it go. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. The defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The Buckeyes looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio State. That's a test of toughness and a test of will, and the running back won that day. Yeah, that's a great effort. Love to see running backs get their knees up and run through those potential arm tackles. So it makes them one of the top backs in the country. Here comes the point after attempt. And it's good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he'll bring it out from inside the town. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Just a small gain. Looking at second and nine. Action fake, looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. He'll be taken down. There is a flag in the field. We'll see if this sack holds up. So the offense obviously will decline the penalty and take the result of the play. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Under pressure, just lets it go. Able to throw it away, he felt the heavy pressure, took a hit, but got rid of the football. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, you really allow this defense to dictate things, and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. The returner is brought down. There is a flag on the field, so we'll check out this call. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense gets a second chance after the roughing the punter penalty. Caught over the middle. It's Helm. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. The clock has stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning before halftime.
Here's the second down play. Dropping back. It's yours. Quick throw to his receiver. Has incomplete, very nearly intercepted that time. I think he predetermined where to go with his football. Really didn't give himself a chance to work through his progressions. Locked into his primary. Tried to force it in there. And it doesn't work out. Tough spot. The offense has to convert a third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. Looking to throw it again. And they heave it deep downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Touchdown, Longhorns. Made the defense look slow that time. Just give this guy the ball and let him do the rest. The quarterback does a nice job of just putting the ball in the receiver's hands, and then he uses his legs with the run after the catch for the touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT is good, so they're in front now, 17-10. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Oh, and he dropped it. Very uncharacteristic play by this wide receiver. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Looking to pass, it's Howard. Airing this one out toward the sideline. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. Buckeyes will have to kick this away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. With the return, it's Bolden. Coverage team. Brings down the returner. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive. Right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. Receiver makes the catch. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Boy, a nice drag route here. And I thought the patience by the quarterback was the key. Puts it in front of his receiver. Gives him a chance to make the catch. And picks up a little bonus. Nice yards after the catch. An empty backfield on second and short. Grab down the middle. It's Bond. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Chris, I cannot believe we're still in the first half. This guy's already got a couple touchdowns. Now he's adding to his receiver total here by picking up another first down and more yards. First down and 10 now. And the quarterback dropping back. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting in the way of that and knocking it away. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. They're scanning the field. It's yours. Catch made by the tight end. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half.
So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes a quick grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense. Looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Incomplete with four seconds remaining. Time for just one more play. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. He was successful with his first attempt. This one is from 35 yards out. And the field goal is good. And they add to their lead. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. The coverage team brings him down in the final play of this first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. And through two quarters of ball, it looks like we're in for another fun one here today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. The Longhorns will kick this away to start the second half. Turner trying to create good field position. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. Receiver in motion now. Play action here on first down. The sure hands at Smith. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion nowhere to go after that catch the Buckeyes will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense quarterback keeps the football goes backwards losing three yards there Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. I think that was a coverage sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. The Buckeyes will line up to punt it away, and he'll kick it away now for the second time. Gets the kick away from his own end zone. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Looking to build on this lead in this possession. Had to settle for three last time out. And the running back takes the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. 
Now they'll run a draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. The pass rush closing in. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, let's face it. They dug themselves a hole in the first half. But I'll tell you what. They're coming out with a new look and a new energy here to start the second half. The Longhorns will bring their punt team out of the field. No fair catch. Looking to make a return here. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Takes the ball, tries the right side here. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. Send the back in motion to the air. It's Howard. Going for his running back. They give the running back a touch in the pass game. Catch made over the middle. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. First down here for this offense. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Second down play coming up for this offense. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Second down, we're going to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Tate. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. You know, these kind of routes are always great for receivers who do a really good job of yards after the catch situations. And they're easy completions for the quarterback. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Throws it to the right. Oh, the pass is picked off. They get him down after reception. Gets the football back to the offense at the 37. It's a coordinator and tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Off the play fake on first down. Grab behind the line. It's blue. Tackle made after the completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Really good job here by the defense and coverage. Did a nice job here of staying in phase with the receiver. There's no chance for a completion at all. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Grab down the middle. It's Helm. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. 
Longhorns getting set on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball's not intercepted. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll run it here. But the gain is just one yard. Sets up a third and nine now. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Dropping back, it's yours. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. The reception, that's about seven yards, but fourth down coming up here. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. Longhorns will bring their punt team on the field now. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. No shot to bring him down. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain getting closer to midfield now. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen, what the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. And you got to love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. So, second down after the incompletion. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. I love how this quarterback is finding this slot receiver. Not only is he tough to handle, but it's what he's doing after the catch. He has such wiggle and quickness. He's tough to bring down, and you see more positive yards after the catch here. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Sticking with the running game. Finding space at the 20. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. But when teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, it really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. They'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. So Texas has the lead, Kirk, as we break here for the quarter. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Buckeyes. 
So here we go, fourth quarter. They've cut into the lead, but still work to do. Well, I, I think the cool thing is that they're still battling, and they put themselves at least in a position now to possibly come back and maybe, who knows, win this game. But it's going to be up to their defense. They've got to get the ball back to have a chance. They're set now to try the PAT. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Again, makes it second and medium. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Dropping back. It's yours. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground. But the next tip ball could be going the other way. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Pressure is coming. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Well, everybody talks about sacks, and they're very important. But sometimes just the rush, the pressure affecting the quarterback is just as effective. He didn't have a clean throwing lane, and they forced the incompletion. The Longhorns will send the punt team onto the field. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. Returner brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. And the back gets the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Oh, and he misfires just beyond the receiver's grasp. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. Buckeyes will have to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Bolden. And they've got the returner, Corral. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Bond. He stopped, but he gets a first down. The tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. On first down, it's play action. Grab down the middle. It's Helm. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the cornerback. Not easy with that size difference.
Pass complete. It's second down now. Back to throw. It's yours. Down he goes. A sack. Well, the offense tries to go with a play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying it. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to throw it on third and very long. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down, and now it's fourth down. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator, and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. They've already converted once on fourth down this game. Let's see if they can make it two for two. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab behind the line, it's Golden. And he's not gonna get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. It's a run, running back's got it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What a play by the defense here late in the game, working with the lead. Good job of mirroring the ball carrier. Just walled him off, nowhere for him to go before he could get out of bounds. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Caught on the outside. It's a Buka. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. Crucial third down play after that completion. Try and muscle for the first down. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. The Buckeyes bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Takes the handoff. It's blue. The game moves the ball to the 34. Chris, at least there's some positive yards there from this run game. It hasn't been pretty today. It's really, to me, kept them out of finding any kind of offensive rhythm. Now, they have the lead. But it's despite this offense not necessarily having their best day. Offense getting set. It's second down. Hand off to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Scanning the field. It's yours. Quick throw over the middle. And it's intercepted. A crushing play. Look out. He's got some space. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the defense adds six for the interception return. What a play here to take the lead by this defense. You expect your playmakers and your best players on the field to step up when the game's on the line, and that's exactly what this defender did here. Now, here comes the point after attempt. DAT up and good. So the lead is four here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. 
Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. And he drops back in the gun. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. To throw. It's yours. Fires it to the wideout. And he pulls in the catch. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Longhorns with first and 10 here. Looking to throw yet again. Bringing pressure. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. He just can't take the sack. Second down now after the sack. The ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. We've reached the two-minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? Can the quarterback come through under pressure? Down a score late here in the fourth. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Brought down after a short return, but the pick sets up the offense at the 39. I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in the game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, they're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing them the game. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. So it's still a one-possession game. The offense would love to work the clock here, but they can't take their foot off the gas. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll work the clock here with their running game. Breaks loose at the 45. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff. It's Judkins. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They're unable to get that first down. The clock does keep moving. The big question now is third down. What do you do? Keep it on the ground again or roll the dice throw the football knowing an incompletion the clock will stop so the offense getting set this is not where you want to be against this defense third and long back to throw it's Howard lets it go quickly oh a nice play by the defender got a hand in there to break up the pass
Buckeyes will bring their punt team onto the field. Bounce right at the three-yard line and into the end zone for a touchback. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. And it comes down to this. They need a touchdown. They've got some time to work with. How aggressive will they be? Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. They've got to get points quickly here, looking for explosive plays right now. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Helm. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Now they come up to spike it to stop the clock. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw for the first down. Looking for the wide out. Finds his man. Has the first down. They've got him, but he easily makes the first down, and this drive keeps going. 